Welcome back to 90s Daybreak. High above us in space this morning, the astronauts aboard the shuttle Columbia are taking a break from their nonstop scientific research. They're scheduled to end the 16-day mission on Sunday. As Columbia orbits the Earth, the crew and ground controllers have been conducting fluid, crystal, and other experiments almost around the clock. But this morning, while there is a short break in the action up there, we have the good fortune to be joined in a live hookup through NASA by shuttle astronaut Kent Rominger, who is from Del Norte, Colorado, a small town in the San Luis Valley. Good morning to you. Before we get started, I hey, want to... good morning to you all. Do you have any messages for friends or family here in Colorado? Hey, I'd just like to thank everybody in my hometown, Del Norte, Colorado, and actually the whole valley for all the support. I understand when we went over three hours after launch, the uh, kids from my high school were on the field with a sign that said, Hi, Kent. I wasn't able to see it, but I've got photos of it. Maybe in the photos I'll be able to, it'll show up. Great. Yeah, they were. I guess it was pretty neat. Well, yesterday on one of our newscasts, we asked viewers to call in and give us their questions, whatever they would like to ask you. So we'd like to pose a couple of them to you this morning. One viewer wanted to know, what's it like in outer space? Is it cold, hot, and how does it feel to float around up there? The, uh, the floating around is tremendous. I'll try to show you a little bit of that now. You can see I'm floating right here. And it really is one of the neatest feelings I've ever had. As far as cold or hot inside the space shuttle, we keep the, the temperature very reasonable, similar to what you have there on Earth. If I were outside, if I were not in the sun, it would be close to 100 degrees negative Fahrenheit. And if I were in the sun, it could be several hundred degrees warmer than that. But inside here, it's very comfortable. Kent, another viewer wants to know, what does it feel like when you lift off or re-enter? What does it feel like when you hit zero gravity? It's a pretty amazing sensation because when we lift off, the, uh, there's a lot of rumbling, a lot of vibrations and acceleration. And as a matter of fact, the most acceleration we have is right before we're in orbit. So we're accelerating at three times, meaning that if I weighed 200 pounds on Earth, I weigh 600 pounds just before the engines cut off, and when they cut off, I go from weighing 600 pounds to zero pounds and free floating. It's quite a sensation. I can't imagine. It's better than the best roller coaster, I would guess. Well, let's ask you, one of the viewers wanted to know what kind of experiments you're involved with and how that might affect us back here on Earth. The uh, some of the experiments on the mid-deck I'm involved with, and one of them is called Astro Coaster, which, interestingly enough, is growing five tuber potatoes in the San Luis Valley's potato country. But the reason we're doing this is on the space station coming up and extended space travel. It's a great idea to have plants and be able to grow our own food because the food takes advantage and cleans up the air, takes the CO2 out of it. So we're using one of those experiments to see how the potatoes form in space, see if their starch content is correct as well as the uh, technology, using it as a technology demonstrator to see the most efficient way to grow stuff in space. Kent, one more question. Another viewer wants to know, what kinds of things do you see up there as far as, I, I know you're surrounded by stars, but have you seen comets or anything else like that? I haven't seen comets, but it, what is really interesting from up here are falling stars. And the the uh, falling stars are below us, so when we look at the Earth at night, we'll see these huge, bright, green and blue stars that burn, it seems like, for close to 10 seconds as they're entering the atmosphere and blowing up. Well, that's just terrific. We want to thank you for joining us this morning. I know your options are limited up there, but you're going to do any trick-or-treating at all today? I mean, it is Halloween. <laughs> it is Halloween, and we're working on our costumes. Hopefully later on tonight uh, we'll send down some video of uh, our Halloween party on board. <laughs> okay. We Very love nice. It. Thank you for joining us. We have uh, lots of fans in Colorado that are pulling for you. Have a safe return to Earth next Sunday, I guess. Have a good one. Thanks, Kent. Happy Halloween, and thanks for all the support. Okay, take care.
Let me a minute. Do a teeter's hand over. Deploy the drop. Copy that, two and three. That's affirmative, Alan. You'll probably still need to look at the Z-axis and come in with uh, one of the injectors. Yeah, I just switched that. I just saw that. Uh, 